Hello everybody and welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I am Donnie Reed and today we're going to have ourselves a 22 caliber air gun slug shootout including the brand spanking new and not yet released JSB knockout slugs. Now with all of the new slugs hitting the market, uh, you might be asking yourself which one you should choose. The answer to that is simple, and that's going to be whichever one your gun shoots the best. Now let's just say, for instance, your gun shoots all of them equally well. Then how do you choose which slug to use? Hopefully I can provide some data today for you to help you make that decision. Now our shootout today will involve four different kinds of air gun slugs. We have the FX Hybrid Slug 22 grain. We have the H&N Slug HP 23 grain, and this is the 0.217 inch version. And we have the first prototypes of the JSB knockout slugs. These are a 25.39 grain pellet, or I'm sorry, slug. And JSB tells me these are a 0.216 inch slug. Now there will be a 0.217 inch knockout slug. We don't have those yet. I'm awaiting samples of those. And once they arrive, uh, those slugs will have their own video. Now, there were also the Nielsen Specialty Ammo 23 grain 0.217 inch slugs. So those are the four that we're going to be testing today. Now, there's quite a few options for the H&N and the Nielsen slugs, but I tried to choose slugs that were very common to each other in both size and weight for this shootout. Now, like I said, the accuracy that you're going to get out of these slugs in your gun might be very different than my results, but I still had to choose a gun for this test. And what I ended up with, I did test several different guns, but the one I chose was the Daystate Red Wolf Safari 22 caliber. They all shot well out of that gun, and it's a very high-powered 22. I used the Red Wolf Safari both for my accuracy and my terminal performance or gel testing, which we'll get to in a little bit here. My testing consisted of three undeniably empirical categories. Uh, and one relatively deniable category, and that one's accuracy. And we've addressed that already. The accuracy I get in this gun might be very different from the accuracy you get in yours. The other three categories were a 20 slug sample of all four. And you have to forgive me, I don't have any more of the Nielsen's to put here on the table. But uh, I took a 20 slug sample of all four slugs and measured them both for weight and diameter. I also shot two of each into a block of clear ballistics gel. That's calibrated gel. In the gel shots, I do have some slow motion video for you. And all slugs were measured for both penetration and expansion. But first things first, let's start with the boring stuff, the weights and the diameters. In the weight category, the winner is... Nielsen Specialty Ammo. Now let me preface this data I'm going to show you by saying, wow, these are all impressively consistent in weight and diameter, but we'll get there. Uh, in fact, they were so consistent that they were more consistent than most pellets I've ever tested. Still, the winner of this category is Nielsen Specialty Ammo. While the largest weight spread for all of these slugs was very small at 0.56 grains, so that's the JSB knockout, the Nielsen slugs had almost no spread. The extreme spread was 0.02 grains. That is exceptional. I don't know how you do that, Mr. Nielsen, but very good job. Now, this is not to say that the others did bad in this category. To have a 0.56 grain extreme spread is more than acceptable. It's minuscule and it's wonderful. And I'm going to abuse this word today, but for the weights, all of these slugs were consistent. In the diameter size category, 
we have a tie between the JSB knockout and the Nielsen Specialty Ammo Slugs. Again, wow. It is clearly apparent that quite a bit of care and technology goes into the production of these slugs. I used a pellet gauge to measure the diameter of all of these slugs, and I want to let you know, not all measuring instruments agree with each other. The measurements I got with my pellet gauge might be very different than the measurements you get with your instrument. What I want you to realize is that I'm comparing the sample to itself. I'm not comparing my measurements to someone else's measurements. So we're just looking at the consistency of the sample. And again, wow. While none of these slugs measured their advertised size via my pellet gauge, the level of consistency is astonishing. Both the Nielsen and the JSB knockout slugs had an extreme spread of nothing. Nothing. Zip, zilch, nada. According to my pellet gauge, they are all 0.2188 inches. Now, the others, again, did not do bad. The H&N and the FX had minuscule, absolutely ridiculously small extreme spreads and deviations. You can see that in this chart here. Again, there's no real loser in this category, and what separated the winners from the losers was any, any deviation at all. That is impressive and well done to all manufacturers. Now we're getting to some good stuff. The ballistics gel testing. And the winner of that category is everybody. What did I say? Everybody. I don't know what you want out of a slug. These slugs have differences. Some of them penetrate more. Some of them expand more. It's up to you and your needs, what you want out of a slug. Again, I, I used the Daystate Red Wolf Safari for this testing. I shot into our clear ballistics extra long air gun block. All shots were taken at 20 yards indoors at a 70 degree ambient temperature. And as I said, I can't call a winner in this category. It's up to you and what you want. They all performed well. And again, here's that word. They all performed consistently. I shot two of each into this block, measured them for penetration and expansion, and I have some slow motion video for you. Now, this sequence here is a little long, so I've added some music for you. And what's more, I've added some of my music for you. This is a song that was recorded by my friend from Pittsburgh, Mad Blazin. This is he and I. I'm playing keyboards and guitars. He's playing bass and wrote the rhythm track for this music you're about to hear. But watch this. Take it in. It's pick heavy, and I think you'll enjoy it. And I'll be right back.
So as you see, if you want maximum expansion, the FX Hybrid or the Nielsen Specialty Ammo expanded the most and penetrated the least. If you want more penetration and less expansion, the H&N Slug is probably what you want. If you want a nice middle ground of both, the JSB Knockout penetrated deeply and expanded largely, so it would be a good middle of the road choice. Now something I do want to address here is my testing medium. Uh, as I've found in the past, shooting an animal is the best way to find out what a projectile will do in an animal. The clear ballistics gel is a standardized medium. I'm not telling you this is what will happen in an animal, but I believe it's more accurate than things like clay. And I don't mean to knock anybody that uses clay for their testing, it's just that clay is not going to be representative of the realistic qualities of the terminal performance of a projectile. It's powdered rock, so it doesn't have elasticity. That's why you see the large craters in there. That's a temporary stretch cavity, and that happens in clear gel as well, but it instantly collapses. There is no wounding effect from the temporary cavity produced by a projectile less than supersonic speeds. In fact, if I'm right, I believe it's about 1,700 feet per second necessary to cause wounding to flesh via temporary stretch cavity, and none of these are even remotely close to that. So what you're seeing in this ballistics gel isn't the same thing you'll see in an animal, but it's not too far off. You won't see a massive crater. You won't see a wound that is larger in diameter than the projectile, but that's not to say it won't be sufficiently damaging to the animal. And now for the relatively deniable empirical category, and that would be accuracy. And in this category, we have another tie. Nielsen Specialty Ammo and H&N both tied at a three-shot group of 0.865 inches. Now, I have to test outdoors. This is 100 yards in a very windy area, and it's variable wind more often than not. Such was the case on the day of my testing. So I want you to take this accuracy testing with a grain of salt. We already addressed the differences in guns, but the environment is a large factor in the accuracy you'll get out of any projectile. I am in the process of trying to secure an indoor 100 yard location to record this kind of testing. However, I don't have it yet, so we're gonna just have to make do with what we had available. Again, to minimize the effects of the environment, all of the shots you're gonna see were taken at 100 yards and there are three shot groups. Now I know everybody likes five shots, 10 shots, but you introduce more environmental variability by increasing the sample size. So therefore, these are three shot groups and nobody did bad. As you can see, the JSB did well at just over one MOA and so did the FX slugs. None of them are inaccurate and of course the Red Wolf would prefer one over the other just like your gun. So again, take this with a grain of salt, test them in your gun and see the results that you get.
Now, in conclusion, if you were expecting me to tell you which one of these slugs is the best, I'm not going to. Nor could I, even if I wanted. You have to test them in your gun and see which are the most accurate for you. I don't know what you want out of a slug so far as terminal performance is concerned, so you can look at the data that I've presented and make your own decision on what's best for you. I did pronounce a winner in these categories, but these are simply standouts. They were all absolutely, wonderfully, amazingly consistent within the weight category, the diameter category, and the terminal performance category. So these are all fantastic products. I'm not going to try to tell you which one is right for you. You have to figure that out for yourself. I hope the data that I've presented today is helpful in that endeavor. And you guys stay tuned, stay safe, and happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.